Hello beautiful people, here's the first vehicle from the new Ixva update, the South African Saak Mark IV 2 pounder. Hope you enjoy. So here we have the first vehicle in the new South African sub tree of the British tree and sitting right there. It's called Saak Mark IV and Saak stands for South African Reconnaissance Car. So what are we getting? A very thinly paper thin armored reconnaissance vehicle. 8 mm on the side, 40 mm on the turret in the front, maximum 20 mm of armor. We're getting a pretty fast vehicle, 65 km an hour, and the reverse is also excellent. It's armed with a 2 pounder gun, 40 mm gun. It's the same as the Matilda 3, and if you try to look at it, same type of ammo, including an um, AP-80 shell, but that one has pretty poor armor pen with only 66mm. So I would say just stick with the one with the greatest armor pen this round. 10 meters is 89mm, dropping down to 77mm at 500 meters. You also get access to scouting ability, airstrike, artillery support, and smoke grenades. So whenever you uh, start spading this vehicle, you only have two smoke grenades. Once it's upgraded, you have 26. And you are using two smoke grenades at a time. And it's used from these grenade launchers over here. So I just finished spading the vehicle. It was pretty fast. And let me try this some pros and cons. So it's very fast. Good reverse speed also. You get plenty of smoke grenades. You get scouting. You get a fast firing 40mm cannon. The turret rotation is also fast, 29.7 degrees a second with upgraded crew. Good gun depression with 12 degrees. You have three light machine guns. And you have a narrow front profile. And some of the cons. Paper thin armor. The commander is exposed in the open turret. The two machine guns on the turret are fixed, facing forward, so it can really Use them separately against the aircraft. It's wheeled, so you'll have issues in deep sand, mud, snow, and in water. And it's actually quite easy to one shot with a center mass hit, because the whole crew, minus the driver, are so bunched up together in the middle of the vehicle. And of course, just looking at the vehicle from the side, you have a very tall profile. We are on advance to the Rhine and I am racing towards Charlie to see how fast we can actually get. And this uh, vehicle is fully uh, fully spaded now. So I think I hit max 64 kilometers an hour. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's wait a second. Huh. That's weird. Okay, well, didn't really see any, uh, oh, now they're capturing Bravo, of course. Come on. Uh, turn. So, let's just see if we can be a little brave and move up through, uh, the Garden of Eden. Well, not really. Now, of course, Unfortunately, um, being in this color scheme means that I'm super easy to spot. Uh, so that's not good. So, uh, Lee. Can I? Oh, I can. I actually got his commander. Oh, sorry. Okay, kill assist on him. Now, I need to be super, super careful with this guy, of course, because he is so uh, very, very, very thin. But, uh, look at this. Uh, um, reload rate though, and the turret right now, it's uh, almost 30 degrees a second, so it's 
basically as fast as some of the anti-aircraft vehicles. And uh, I really, really like that though. That is super nice too. Oh, did you just get whacked in the side from over there? Yes. He did. Uh, let me just... No, I can't do that yet. Just take a chance and pop up here. Uh, oh, it's uh, a Japanese thingy. Whoa, okay. I did not expect that. Yeah, one second. Oh. Well, I can help that guy repair. There we go. At least a little something. You're welcome. Oops. One thing is also nice after you uh, have your um, smoke upgraded, you're going from 2 to I think 30 smokes. And that is super nice. I mean, that's a clear advantage over the Puma. You have that one uh, burst of 6 smokes, that's it. But you have so many right here. Got him scarred, I'm just gonna throw Artie on that guy down there then. Not looking at me. Okay. Backing up. Well, Saints got. Did he get. Did he repair himself? Oh no, no, he needs help again. Okay, let me see if I can get over there to help. Oops. In the wrong key. What the hell? Keep in the wrong key. There we go. Okay, we are on the Poland map, and let's see if we can catch somebody out here. Uh, but that guy's pretty far out. And that's 900 meters, but well, I guess I can try. Oh! Did he stop? No, he did not stop. There's another guy over there, and another guy over there. Holy crap, look at all that. Well, it's a lot of... Uh, uh, Let's see... Oh, he's slow though. Pretty good hit. Ricochet though. Try that again. Too high. Front of him. Too high. What was that about it? The guy over there I think. Yeah, so he's a kilometer out. So in order to hit that guy, I need to hit his uh, driver's part, which is not really going to happen here, I think. Nah. Okay. Let's just back up. Whoa. That guy actually uh, overshot. I'm going to put Adi on him. Let's see if he's gonna move or what he's what's he doing. No, he didn't move. No, he did. Attention to the map. Uh, go to crit. I do need to kill him fast though because that guy is super dangerous to me. Oh, come on, come on, come on. One good hit from him, and he's and I'm gone. Well, I hit his breach, but try to go this. Okay, there we go. That was actually pretty scary. I'm glad he overshot with that one round. So what about all the other ones? I mean, there were plenty of guys over there. 
So I brought, was it 50 plus rounds or maybe a little less and I think I already spent half of them more or less. Uh, so there is that. Uh, uh, okay. Let's see some lucky here. Where did he go? There he is. Uh, he's just gone. Didn't do a whole lot. Didn't do a whole lot either, uh, not enough rather. Okay, kill assist. Yeah, so... If this would have been a Puma, these guys would have all been dead now. I do, uh... I, sh I have a pretty fast firing rate, but yeah, I definitely miss the... The pin of the Puma 50mm gun, even though they are the same BR. So there's a guy, uh, I can't see him though. Uh, so, I need to get away because everything will kill this guy. Especially being open top, I don't want to be here. Because everybody knows uh, where people are standing over there, so... Let's just try hiding them trees! So that's the stock Stug that was gone, and that was the guy I killed. They're grabbing Charlie. And another thing that I don't like about, but I like about this vehicle is of course this color. I mean, talk about being easy to spot, right? Oh. So, he moved. Oh. Ah, uh, he overshot with the bomb. That sucked. So it has to be two of them then, then somewhere over there? No? Yeah, I don't know where he is. So let me move back to uh, the other position. Uh, maybe this is a bad idea, but I don't really know what to do. Since from there, I'm pretty sure I'll stick out uh, from the ground with this color scheme. Uh, right there, so that's probably what, 700? Did I overshoot? No. Uh, bounced on him yeah yeah I can't pin this guy it's a 105 but he can pin me even with his uh, heavy machine guns oh look at that Maybe I shouldn't do this. I'm just. Ooh, thank you. I was about to say I'm just feeding him uh, <laughs> points with hitting him. That with hitting him and not pinning him. Okay. And let me try grab uh, Charlie. Okay. So wh what happened? Oh shit. Oh, uh, whoo, thank you, thank you. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, there's one more up there. Somewhere. Uh. That him? No. Attention to the map. Ooh, 
do careful. So I would say that I can hear him. So they're getting... Okay, somebody is on Charlie then. But he's backing off. Oh, he's right there, Jesus. Okay. Is there somebody else or was he shooting at? Well, let's smoke this up and try. Is that uh, another guy down here? Yeah, I'm just gonna move away, back up. Don't think they saw me. But I don't know if they're gonna change the soundscape again. But everything has become more muffled. I think I need to go watch my settings to see if the engine sound on other vehicles is up at 100%. Because if this is 100%, then uh, then it's completely messed up. And This makes it a much, much more difficult to get an advance of it actually being able to listen to them. So I don't know if this is to cater the folks on playing in front of the TV and not using headphones, but this is definitely not an advantage. I really hope they're gonna change this again though. This really, really sucks. And who cares about the distinct engine sounds you can make out because now we can't hear them. So, I mean, <laughs> that thing is out the window. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm dead. Woo! Didn't hit the gun. Not good enough. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. Four rounds and I'm out. Come on. Ah, damn it. Okay. Well, maybe I can, uh, um, get an assist or something and kill one of them with the rockets and Charlie but I don't know ah. well, let's just try before this ends ah oh, no damn it <sighs> now Whoa 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Who have you actually have enough points for? Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, yeah, sure, why not? We have enough for a single kill. Ah, oh, no. No, that sucked. Oh, there he is. Let me just burn off my all my rounds. Huh? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm using stealth rounds, but. Oh, look at this. It's actually pretty crazy, all considering. Ah. Huh. Turned out to be a pretty fun round after all, and oh so close. Still think we're gonna lose, though. you're gonna win this whoa nice so that was it the first look at the Sark Mark V as you can see down below it fits in nicely in the British 2.7 lineup it's not as effective as the Puma and you can really survive in up tiers nearly as well as the Puma can but it's still a nice addition to the British lineup I've added some links in the video description below both for other relevant videos on the channel but also for other ways for you guys to support the channel if you wish to do so. Thank you for watching and until next time remember to deploy your tie breaks. Have a good one.